last week we talked about adoration, confession, and now today we're going to talk about thanksgiving and sacrifice. Now, we said that adoration is praising God for who he is, his personality, and his nature. Now, Thanksgiving is a little similar, but uh, the only difference is that you're thanking God for what he has done, okay? So you're thanking God for his acts and the things that he does in your life. So if God has done something for you, Thanksgiving is praising God for what he has done rather than who he is. We looked at the psalms and just like there are so many songs of adoration there are also so many songs of thanksgiving and i'd like us to look at one of them one of my favorites psalm 107 verse 1 give thanks to the lord because he is good his faithful love continues forever amen Awesome. So if we're looking for something, some inspiration for our Thanksgiving, the book of Psalms is a great place to start. And supplication is another name for request. So bringing your needs and your requests before God is what is referred to as supplication. Now I want us to look at this video and then we'll have an idea of what it means to ask God and how God wants us to ask him for stuff. Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should keep praying and not give up. I've reached a decision. The family in question is to hand over all property to the bank and pay the rest of the loan in weekly instalments for the next 20 years. Next case. Sir, have pity on a poor broken family. Pity? Next case! Have pity on my family, blah blah blah. Ha! Ah. Hello Judge, we're neighbours. Judge, I need you to defend me. The landlord's kicking me out. He wants more rent. Uh, black coffee. Thanks. Hey, Judge! Okay, I'll take the case. Just get out, miserable old woman. And Jesus said, "So if that's what the shonky judge did, then how much more will God get justice for His chosen ones who cry out to Him day and night?" That is what I call persistence. This woman was really really persistent. God wants us to be persistent in our prayer. When we ask him for something we should keep asking. The Bible says ask and you shall receive, seek and you'll find, knock and the door will be open unto you. Some versions say keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking. Pray until something happens. Push. Thank you. There's so much to learn about prayer and we've only scratched the surface. So I, I, I pray that you go on and find out more about prayer and most importantly that you will practice it, that you pray. Prayer is nothing complicated, it's just talking to God. Just talking to God and He speaks, He speaks right back to us. So listening is also a very, very important part of prayer. When you talk to someone, you should listen for what they have to say to you. So when you pray, you expect an answer from God. 
Answers can come in so many forms. God can speak through others and most importantly, he speaks through his word, through his Holy Spirit. Have a blessed week, a blessed day and see you all same time, same place next week. Keep praying and keep listening.